Now that all the detailing is done, we can export everything to AutoCAD and review or edit the drawings there. To do that, we go to Detailing menu, then Drawing Management, and click on Open Drawing Manager. Here you will see the both concrete beam and concrete column stack options are active. So we just hit OK. We just need to wait for the whole detailing data to finish generating. And now you can see the detailing for the whole structure right here. If I click on the standard details, it shows us things like the zone definition, the LN values, and so on. Basically, all the standard codes used in the drawings. Under component views, we have both beams and columns listed. For example, let's go to concrete beams. You can pick any floor you want. I'll choose the 19th floor as an example. Now all the beams for the 19th floor are listed here. You can view each one however you like. You've got the elevation without bars, the elevation with bars, and one that shows all the bars together. You also get the rebar profiles, the cross sections, a beam table that lists the rebar in, for, in table format, a bill of quantity table, and a table showing the rebar weights, plus a full 3D of the beam's reinforcement. All of these views can be exported to AutoCAD. Let me show you how. For example, I want to export this plan. I right click on it and select export view, then I choose drawing exchange format, pick the target folder, and it starts export. That's it, it's ready. Let's say I also want to export the elevation view for the 16th floor. Same process, I select it, hit export view, and click start export. Now for the columns, it works just the same. Under individual stack views, you can see all the different columns. You can view their full elevations, like here. I'll export this elevation by right-clicking, selecting Export View, and hitting Start. Then Done. You can also view cross-sections like Section 6, or any other section from the list. Here is the summer table for the reinforcement of column CS2. The rebar weight summary, and there is the 3D view of CS2 as well. And just like that, you can repeat the same steps for the rest of the columns. We also have the column groups here, where you can see the layout plan. You can also view the bill of quantity, the rebar weight, and from this part, the layout plan, the section table that shows all the different sections. You can view the different sections here.
Right here you can see the elevation summary of the columns. You can also view the summary of the columns. and the 3D view. I'll zoom in a bit so you can clearly see the full 3D reinforcement layout for all the columns. And finally, right here, you can also see a combined 3D view of both the beams and column reinforcement, all at once. Now let's open the AutoCAD files we exported earlier and take a look. As you can see, all the detailing information has been successfully transferred to AutoCAD. You can edit anything here, like for example I can just change this number from 115 to 100 and make any modifications I need. Here is another file. This one shows the reinforcement layout we exported earlier. And finally, this file has the full reinforcement details for the columns. The whole construction drawing is here, ready for printing, editing or using on site.